Hello everyone and welcome back to A Voice for the Missing. My name is Grace and this week's episode is on the disappearance of Tara Calico. Calico disappeared in Baden, New Mexico on September 20th, 1988. A year later, two Polaroids of a tied up woman were discovered in Florida. On the morning of September 20th, 1988, 19-year-old Tara Calico left her home in Valencia County, New Mexico for her daily bike ride. Her route along the Mexico State Road 47 was the same day as her mother, Pally Doyle, knew it well because they often traveled together. Lately, though, Pally had been skipping rides. A recent incident in which a car drove aggressively close to her and deliberately passed her multiple times had made her nervous and less inclined to ride. Tara continued the tradition, cheerfully refusing her mother's suggestion that she carry mace. It was the same stretch she had been riding for years, and nothing terrible had ever happened. As she was heading out the door, Tara jokingly told her mother that she'd been that she better come looking for her if Tara didn't show up by noon. Because she had a tennis date with her boyfriend at twelve thirty that she was determined to keep. But as noon came and went, Tara Calico never came home. That awful day was the beginning of a mystery that would, in time, consume the, nose, consume the nation. But for ten months, Pally Doyle and her husband, John, heard nothing. On the afternoon, Tara disappeared. Her mother drove up and down their usual bike route, looking for any sign of her daughter. When she couldn't find her, Pally contacted the police, but the search party nor the cops located, located neither Tara Calico or her bike, and nobody who was questioned witnessed any accidents or abduction. A few people recalled seeing Tara along the road, and one or two remembered a light-colored pickup truck they thought might have been riding along with the cyclist. Police also found pieces of Calico's Walkman and a cassette tape, which Patty was convinced were broken and dropped deliberately as part of her daughter's effort to leave a trail. But Tara and her pink bike weren't found. Without compelling evidence of foul play, police began to question John and Patty about Tara's home life. Was their daughter happy? Did she even talk? Did she ever talk about travel? They suspected that the 19-year-old had run away from home. A, hypo- a hypothesis her family vehemently denied, describing Tara as a cheerful girl screaming with enthusiasm. Then, on July 15, 1989, nearly nine months after Tara Caligo's disappearance, a mysterious Polaroid picture was discovered in a convenience store parking lot in Port St. Joe, Florida, which is almost 1,500 miles from where Tara had disappeared. The eerie photo showed a teenage girl and a young boy lying on sheets and a pillow. Both have duct taped over their mouths and appear to be bound. I believe that after 30 years of terror not being found, her chances of being found alive are slim. However, I genuinely hope I'm wrong and this family is reunited. If you have any information, please contact the Berlin 
New Mexico Police Department at 505-966-2680. Again, the phone number is 505-966-2680. Until next time, until next week, God bless and be kind to one another. Thank you for watching.